Congratulations on your purchase of the award-winning ISO stands from ISO Acoustics. The ISO stands are one of the best investments you're going to make in getting authentic and accurate sound. The ISO stands feature ISO Acoustics patented isolation technology that provide a high degree of isolation and manages the speaker's energy to deliver greater clarity and detail. The ISO stands also feature height and tilt adjustment to optimize the placement of your monitors and focus your tweeters to ear level. Hi, my name is Paul Morrison. Today I'll be taking a moment to share some tips on how to set up your speaker stands with minimum effort and maximum ease. The ISO stand series consists of five models. The ISO 130, ISO 155, ISO 200, ISO 430, and ISO 200 sub. In this video, we'll be assembling the ISO 155, which comes as a pair of stands for two speakers, and each ISO 155 stand offers height and tilt adjustment. All of the other ISO stand models are the same, except the ISO 430, which does not have height adjustment and is sold as a single unit, and the ISO 200 sub, which is designed for subwoofers, so it comes as a single unit and does not have height or tilt adjustment. The ISO 155 stands we are assembling in this video offer 14 settings and height and tilt adjustment. This will help you optimize the placement of your monitors and bring your tweeters to ear level. Before we get into how to assemble the stands, let's first talk about how to best position your monitors to get the best possible sound. Here are some tips for setting up your speakers. The first tip is to position your speakers so that they form an equilateral triangle with your listening position. Angle or toe in each speaker so that the tweeters form an equilateral triangle with your head. The second tip is to focus the tweeters to ear level. High frequencies are much more directional than low frequencies, so you'll get better results with the tweeter at ear level. The next tip is to avoid first reflections off the supporting surface. If, for example, your speaker is sitting directly on the desk, sound waves will reflect off the desk and reach your ears. First reflections are the next sound you hear after the direct sound from the speakers, and they are most disruptive. Next, keep your speakers away from the wall to minimize sound reflections and avoid positioning your speakers in the corner of a room to prevent bass buildup. The last tip is to consider your room arrangement. Ideally, your speakers should be positioned so that they are the same distance from the sides of the room. The goal here is for symmetry in speaker and furniture arrangement in order to minimize the impact from sound reflections as much as possible. Also, it is best if the speakers are at different distances from the back wall than from the walls on either side. The ISO 155 comes equipped with the accessories and components for two speaker stands, but in today's demonstration we'll be looking at setting up a single stand. In front of me you can see all the necessary components for a single stand. Four long tubes, four short tubes, two pairs of inserts, one longer than the other, and the top and bottom frames which have the integrated isolators. The top is defined by the ISO Acoustics logo on the front. There are five main steps to assembly. First, choose between the short or the long tubes to decide the optimal height for the speaker stand to deliver the best quality of audio. For this example, we'll be using the short tubes. Next, you must decide what level of tilt would be best suited for your setup. If you want to tilt up, insert either two of the short inserts or two of the long inserts, or both short and long inserts into the front tubes. If you want to tilt the stand down, the process is the same, but the inserts get put into the back tubes. If no tilt is needed, the inserts will not be used. In this example, we'll be using the short inserts. First, push the insert into the top of each tube and give it a twist until it's firm. Next, firmly press the tubes into the bottom frame so that they are secured in place. Finally, push the top frame into place. You might have to apply pressure to each of the four contact points, gently but firmly, for optimized use. If your stand is not level, it means that the poles are not fully seated into the isolators. Sometimes air can get trapped inside the isolators, which causes the tubes to not be seated properly. If you experience this problem, I suggest removing the top frame, then make sure the poles are seated properly in the bottom isolators. Then install the top frame again, and one by one go around and apply pressure to the top and bottom isolator together, pushing them together. If you want to try the stands at a different height or tilt setting, the stands can be taken apart and reassembled in a different configuration. If you have any trouble removing a tilt insert from inside one of the isolators, using needle nose pliers is a tip which makes it very easy. Congratulations, you've completed the setup for your isolation stand. 
Position your speaker on top and make sure it's secure. For more information, head over to isoacoustics.com. For help determining which ISO stand is best for your monitors, I recommend trying our online calculator. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications on all our new tutorials and updates on our products.